I'm settling down. My text go to screen. You know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming home and text. What's going on, Clan fam? Time for some NCAA Football 14 coaching carousel dynasty mode. Now, I know what you're thinking. Clam, what's what's the coaching carousel? What does that mean? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a coach. He's coming off winning a state championship at Delta High School, an Indiana state championship. And Coach Chim Richards, he's, he's ready for the next step. He's won a state title in high school. It's time to move on. And he's going to become the offensive coordinator at a Division I college school. Now, what the coaching carousel is, and this is a cool thing about NCAA Football 14, after the season, there's something called the coaching carousel. It's something that is, I mean, it's a real life thing. So basically, coaches are either fired or they leave a school and go to another school. You know, offensive and defensive coordinators are hired by colleges to become head coaches. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to start at the very bottom. Just came off of a state championship coach, Chim Richards. Veronica Corningstone. This is your doctor. I have your pregnancy report here. And guess what? You you got knocked up, so you should probably get out of news. Who is this? This is Dr. Chim. Dr. Chim Richards. Richards? Ron, is this you? <laughs> I'm a professional doctor. You saw me, you don't remember. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you should move. You should get out of the business. This is pathetic. Uh, you're pathetic. <laughs> What did she say? She, I, don't, I think she bought it. <laughs> He's ready to make that next step. All right, so here's his body. He's just going to be a medium body. He's going to have that medium two head apparel. What all do they have in here? T-shirt, polo, sweater vest, suit. Every game's a business trip, bro. Every game is a business trip. We got to be wearing a suit. But we also want to keep it a little casual. So we're going to wear a hat, glasses off, alma mater. My dude, Chim Richards, went to Ball State. After he graduated from Ball State, he went on to be the head coach of Delta High School, the Eagles in Muncie, Indiana, won a state title, and now he's ready for the big time, baby. All this, Offensive Playbook, Illinois, we're going to leave that the way it is. I'm used to running Illinois' playbook on this game, so I figure I'll just keep that the way it is. Keep it at 50, keep it at 50, sub-frequency, keep that at 50 computer no huddle style I mean I'll just leave that as it is defensive style we're gonna leave that as it is too Chim Richards is gonna be an offensive coordinator so we don't really need to worry about defense right now rules and difficulty set coach starting level we'll leave that at default progression rate we'll leave that at normal generate names I'm gonna leave that at a yes right now because I have a downloaded roster I try and keep the rosters as current as possible um, the NCAA football servers shut down last year, so I have the 2018 rosters on here. That's as current as I can make it. Offensive skill, Heisman. Defensive skill, Heisman. Quarter length, we're going to leave that at five minutes. Game speed, normal. Player minimum speed threshold. Raises or lowers. We're, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave everything the way it is. If I need to change it up, I will. Right now, I think we're good. Custom conferences. I'm going to have to change this up real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the conferences are finished. I had to readjust all the conferences. This game is five years old, so the conferences weren't all up to date. There's a few teams that are now FBS teams that aren't in this game, like Charlotte and like Coastal Carolina, teams like that. So they're not going to be in the game, unfortunately. Nothing we can do about it. Okay, so Chim Richards, as I said is going to start off as the offensive coordinator at Ball State. Ball State was impressed with him winning the Indiana State title with a with a Muncie team. So they're like, hey, we're going to hire this guy on. So Chim Richards, officially the offensive coordinator at Ball State University. Job security is based on team wins and points scored. Right now, job security is safe. Ball State went 9-4 and four last year in 2012, signing a five-year contract. This team should be all right. Welcome to your coach skill tree. Here you can select skill upgrades that will benefit you on the field and in recruiting prospects. Also, one thing, I'm not going to recruit this first season just because I'm hoping to get a job offer as a head coach. That way I can play both sides of the ball. 
Right now, again, I'm just trying to make it a little more realistic so I can kind of move my way up the rankings. Be sure to go to Coach Skill Trees inside Coach Central each time you level up. Okay, so our head coach is Mike New. Defensive coordinator is David Elson. And Chim Richards is the offensive coordinator. Let's go ahead and upgrade one of these. Up-tempo, stay healthy, fatigue less quickly, and prevent injuries. Perfect for up-tempo teams. Ball security. You stress the importance of protecting the football. Okay, so right now I'm only going to worry about ball security. I'm not too worried about up-tempo, just for the mere fact that I kind of want to take the air out of the ball because I'm not playing defense. So the only thing I can really do is play offense. So we got to milk that clock when we, when we have the opportunity to. So I'm just going to put that on ball security. Get on out of here. Exit that. Okay, so we're in the preseason setup recruiting board. Not going to worry about that. Going to let the computer recruit for Ball State this season. Like I said, I'm not really worried about recruiting because hopefully we play really well this first season and I can move on and become a head coach and maybe a one-star or a two-star school. Depth chart. Let's take a look at that real quick. Riley Neal is our starting quarterback. Fun fact, I actually grew up right across the street from Riley Neal. We were neighbors. We played basketball together every once in a while. So we're going to go ahead and head on into custom schedules. Strength of schedule, F. Can't be having that. So the first game of the season, we're heading to Alabama. And we're going to knock off the number one team. First week, Heisman difficulty. We're doing it. And then week two, let's play on the old Smurf turf. We're going to be taking on number 22, Boise State. Not going to mess with Virginia. That's a decent game. We'll play there. Look at this. To open up the conference season, we play four straight home games. We got to take advantage of that. We should be in decent shape there. But then we finish off with one, two, three, four. Five on the road. That kind of sucks, but hopefully we can win this first game against Alabama. Let's go ahead and start the season into the fire. Cardinals prepare for toughest road game yet. Well, it's the first. Of course, it's going to be the toughest road game yet. It's the first game of the season. Who's writing these headlines? I'm kind of scared. I, I don't think we should have put these guys on the schedule. This might have been a bad idea. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and look around the NCAA and see what head coaches have bad job security right now. Georgia State and Old Dominion, their head coaches have a zero job security. That's what I like to see. I mean, there's some decent jobs in here. Kentucky's a decent job. California's a decent job. So hopefully one of those jobs open up and hopefully we are a good enough offensive coordinator to take one of those jobs. So let's head on into it. They're a 97 overall. Oh boy. Our goal right now is just to take the air out of the ball. Give Alabama's offense the least amount of possessions as we possibly can. That's the goal right now. Because we really, our defense, it's going to be hard for our defense to stop this team. And it's raining. They got four guys on the field. Not really sure why. Bryant Denny Stadium, number one Alabama, taking on the Ball State Cardinals. Chim Richards in his first game as an offensive coordinator in the NCAA. We lose the coin toss. I have a feeling that's not going to be the only thing we lose here today. Let's go ahead and watch this first kickoff. Just knee it. Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's see what old Chim Richards can do. Also, wanted to let you guys know, I'm going to be doing Ask Coach. And I'm only going to pick from these three plays right here. Now, at, at, the, at the line of scrimmage, I can send people on hot routes. If it's a run, I can change the direction of the run. That's all I can do. I can only pick from those three plays. Okay. They had a little pressure right there. Nothing we can do about that. Going to run a lot of play action here. Just going to try and take the top off the defense. That's the goal with the play action. Oh, I see you. Given with the first down, my boy Nolan. Let's go. Like I said, we're not running no huddle. We're not running any of that. Ball State cheerleaders made the trip. Let's see what this read option can do.
Oh, he bit on it. He bit on it. Get down, Riley. First down. We're moving that thing, baby. I really want to be balanced. I don't want to just throw the ball all the time or just run all the time. Oh! Oh, he fumbled it. And he's hurt. Oh, my goodness. Our star quarterback is hurt on the, what is that, the third play of the game? Oh, no. I don't even know who our, I think it's Drew. Drew Split, maybe? Is that his last name? Plitt. Drew Plitt. This isn't good. See you, James. Oh, no. I put him in a bad position right there. And our offensive line just isn't isn't very good. All right, I'm gonna send Lacanaria on a curl route right here. He gets jammed at the line. Oh my goodness, that's not a good start. That's not a good start. That cornerback had that thing red all the way. And we go down 7 nothing right off the bat. Hopefully Riley's back in the game because I just don't think Drew can do it. Oh, my. And this crowd is going crazy. Let's try and uh, quiet him down a little bit right there. Didn't work. Oh, that was a terrible pass. All right, let's run a slant right here. Maybe pick up five or six yards. And it gets intercepted. Drew Plitt has more completions to the other team than to his own. Oh, he's out for two quarters. Does the first count as a quarter? A little dump off to Rudy. Their defense is just swarming. There's, there's nothing really that we can do right now. Re-injury risk, high. We gotta put him in. I mean, that offense was, I mean, the offense was doing all right when he was in the game, so we should be okay. Nice little pass to Given again. All right, we're gonna run a smash play. I'm looking for Given. Given's my man, and if not, I'm gonna be looking for Miller over there. The Riley to Riley connection. What kind of pass is that? I hit X, and he throws a duck. Uh, that's not an interception. He's out of bounds. We might have to challenge that one. Can we, can we challenge that, please? Uh? Well, can we get a replay look at that thing? Because I don't think that was an interception. Oh, no, he's out of bounds. No, sir. Don't even get the opportunity to challenge, and now we're down 21 to nothing right off the bat. And this crowd will not stop doing that stupid soccer chant. James, right up the middle, seven yards. Tim Richards uh, looks like he's a little in over his head right here. It's a whole different ball game than high school. Man, they read everything like a book. I. I mean everything. They read everything we throw at them. It's pretty impressive, to be honest with you. I'm already looking to next week. James battling for that first down. If we could get in the end zone, I would consider that a win. Let's get in the end zone and get a stop. Oh, that's a nice pass right there to give it. Oh, he's... He's trucking along 18 yards. First and 10. He just... Right now, I don't know what's going on. It, maybe it's the rain. Maybe the rain is causing the ball to slip out of his hands. I don't know, but he's thrown it all over the place. Not accurate at all. Oh, what a curl route right there by Devin Reese. Threw that ball right on the money. We got a new set of downs. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Another inaccurate pass. Oh my. Oh man. That would have been a huge play right there. That would have been a huge play right there. We needed that one. Riley Miller drops it. Now we're third and ten. Oh my, he's just making such terrible passes. Yeah, absolutely terrible pass. All right, back at it again. Here we go. There we go. Lacanera with the 42-yard reception. And maybe that'll get something going here. If we score, get a two-point conversion. <laughs> Alabama scores in two plays. Coach isn't really letting us run any running plays. He just wants us to throw it the whole time. And that, I mean, that... look at this, man. This is ridiculous. I mean, Coach just has us run four verticals every time out there. Like, throwing the ball isn't working, Coach. It's not. There's some, some nice route running right there. Justin Hall. It's just an ugly game. But it builds character. I mean, I'm just going to have to throw the ball and hope for the best at this point. Coach wants us to run four verticals every other play, so don't really have a choice. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got some got some running room right there. Oh, we're gonna kick a field goal, I guess. Let's see if Hagee can make it. Come on, Hagee. Hey, we're on the board. Good kick, Hagee. 38 to 3. 45 to 3. Goodness gracious. We're taking a beating here. Absolute beating. Look at that throw to Hall. Throw it to Given, why not? And McKinney picks it off again. Oh my goodness. McKinney has five interceptions. Let's just, let's start running the ball. Please. Yeah, I mean, I I know I know when uh, I know when to wave that white flag, and it's time. We're just gonna waste that clock. This one's over. This wasn't even a game. We were just outclassed. Absolutely outclassed by this team. What was? What, why did we even? Why did I schedule out a freaking Bama man? I don't know. I, I really don't know why I did that. 66 to 3. And they've scored on every possession they've had the ball. Every single one. So as much as our offense hasn't come to play, our defense sure as hell hasn't come to play either. 66 to 3. I haven't had time to throw the ball. And like I said, when I do have time, it's an interception. Corey Lacanera. Lacanaria. Gosh. I mean, we, we got our running back running into his own lineman. Jeez. I'm just ready for next week. I'm ready to move on from this experience. You know what? It's going to be hard to take anything good out of this game. 
but at least we're still alive, I guess. There's a nice little run. First down, James Gilbert. That's what I like to see. Just keep on fighting. Well, hopefully next week against Boise State, we'll look a little bit better. I was about to say, what's another interception? Well, that'll do it from Alabama. Just an ugly, ugly game for us. Tim Richards. He's probably wishing he would have stayed coaching high school at this point because that was absolutely embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. And, I mean, Neil was just throwing ducks up. Like, he was just lobbing it and, eh, whatever. Let's just move on. Let's forget this game ever happened. We're 0-0 we're right now. We're 0-0 in my book. That was a freaking exhibition game for Alabama. I mean, they just destroyed us absolutely destroyed us sliding the cardinals lose again this time at the hands of alabama lose again that was the first game of the season again who's who's drunk and writing these headlines well that'll do it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're new turn on those post notifications and i will see you on another time Peace. You fucker!